my name is Glenn Dyer and you are watching a dire situation. Today I'm seeing it comes at night. No, it it, it, it comes at night. Hey, don't don't laugh, we've all had that problem before. <laughs> of things coming at night. I'm sorry, it's totally immature. It's my thirteen year old self coming out, but I just can't. Um, I'm sure this is a lovely film. It, uh, I don't think it's Blumhouse. Um, it's, a, it's a horror movie of some sort. Um, no idea what it's about. Uh, but, uh, you know. And, and you know, the, it, it Comes at Night is a fine title. Uh, it's much better than other things I've heard. Uh, but, you know, just... If, when you have my level of immaturity, you know, you just... <laughs> okay, let's see how the movie actually is. Oh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry for making fun of your name movie. Although, honestly, it doesn't make much sense. I mean, the movie's about, like, uh, these people surviving after, like, this big plague. It has nothing really to do with something coming at night, even like a monster or anything. Like, they stay inside at night, but I think that's just because, like, there's low visibility and there could be, like, people out there, maybe. Like, they don't make a, such a big deal about it. It's a really strange title when you think about it, really. But, oh my god, this was so good. <laughs> this was so good. Oh, man. This movie... It masterfully keeps you on edge the entire time. Uh, uh, the way it handles uh, world building, exposition, all that stuff. It, it's... Oh, it's so great. They never tell you anything specific, by the way. You know it's a plague because of symbolism and because, you know, they're very concerned about that sort of thing. But they never explicitly say, Oh, yes, it's been very tough since that plague hit us six years ago today and this many people died and this was the cause you know they never say that because honestly why would they everybody knows this even though they could have easily forced something in there was this young child character in the movie they could have uh, had some sort of expository scene where they're explaining to him this is what happened to everybody and they didn't uh, I'm, I am very glad for that restraint. Um, and, God, it's so tense. <laughs> Nothing big happens in the movie. It's essentially just trying to survive in some of the worst possible circumstances ever. And the consequences of all your actions and stuff. And, ah, oh, man. I couldn't get enough of it, honestly. It was, it was an experience. Um, jeez. It's hard to tell, um, when something's coming. It's hard to tell who the, tr who to trust, uh, um, whether somebody's a reliable source or not, whether, uh, it's just like real life. I felt like I was there, you know, experiencing that and just being so helpless, you know? Oh, God. In fact, I could almost see how it would be kind of annoying to someone if you if that's not the kind of thing you're into. It's the very fact that, like, you never get any answers. You never... You never have any certainty at any time in the movie. It's just... Continuous... I don't know. And we won't know. And we can't know. And, oh... It's, uh, it's, it's just magical. It's magical, honestly. There are, and beyond that, on a technical level, there are several great shots in this thing. Great cinematography. There was this one point where, um, they, uh, these two people were buried underneath a tree trunk, and the tree trunk faded to the shape of their house, and 
Oh my god, so much symbolism in that. It's so great. I can't even begin to explain it. This is... It's almost like Don't Breathe, except without the uncomfortable subtext of robbing a blind veteran. You know, it's... Oh. Yeah, Jesus. This is what horror could be, man. This is what it... This is the levels it can reach when good people... Good people who care are behind it. I endorse this movie 100%. I think it is amazing. I can't recommend it enough. And I... Damn it, you should see it. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're like a tiny kid. You should see it. <laughs> and, and appreciate it. Damn it. <laughs> I just love it so much. I really do. I really do. This is the kind of movies I do this show for. Because you never know. You never, ever know when you're going to get something this good. <sighs> so, that's all I got to say about it. And until next time, I'm Glenn Dyer, and you have been watching A Dyer Situation.